Namaste. I'm Samta Anti, the founder and CEO of Virtual Preschool, where children learn Hindi through English. And today we are going to do multiplication problems in Hindi. So this is a great and fun way for us to practice our numbers in Hindi and counting, as well as do some math problems at the same time. The problems in this set are best suited for kids that are eight years old and older, because we are going to be doing multiplication problems up to our 20s. All right, so let's get started. First problem, bada times ja. Bada times ja. So first, figure out what bada translates into in a number and what ja translates into in a number. I'll give you a few seconds to figure that out. And if you're having difficulty, then start counting from one in Hindi. As in, ek, do, teen, char. Jad is the second number in our equation. Jad means four. Keep going. Panch, che, sat, at, no, das, gyara, bara. Bara is 12. So that means we're doing 12 times four. 12 times four. Bara times jad. Bara times jad is 48. 48. Bara times jad is 48. Very good. And the way we say 48 in Hindi is artalis. Artalis. All right, let's do the next one. Now, before I go to the next one, I just want to point out one more thing. That if you have to count to get to the number, as in when we went up to, we did bara times jad, if you had to count to translate bada into 12, or you had to count to translate four jad into four, then that means that you only sort of kind of know your Hindi numbers. You would really know them is if you didn't have to count. If somebody said bada times jad, you knew immediately that means 12 times four. Instead of having to say, okay, what is bada? Ek, do, teen, char, pan, che, sa, ta, no, das, gyara, bada. Okay, bada means 12. And what does jad mean? Ek, do, teen, char. So if you have to count like that, that means you, again, you kind of sort of know your Hindi numbers, but you could do it even better by not having to count. Just like in English, if somebody says 12, do you have to count first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to know what 12 is? No, you don't have to count first because you just know what 12 is. All right, let's do the next one. Theta times J. Theta times ch. What is theta in English? If you said th 13, excellent. And what is ch in English? If you said six, very good. So we have theta times ch, 13 times six. Now, do the math problem. How much is 13 times 6? I'll give you a few seconds to figure it out. Five more seconds. All right. 13 times 6 equals 78. 13 times 6, theta times ch equals 78. And... 78 in Hindi is atattar, atattar. And that's a tricky H word. Notice how I'm not saying atattar, I'm saying atattar, atattar. All right, let's do the next one. Sola times sat, sola times sat. What is sola in English? What does it translate to as a number? If you said 16, shabash, sola is 16. And what about sat? What does that translate to as a number? If you said seven, very good, sat is seven. So we have 16 sola times seven sat. Now I'm going to give you a few minutes, a few seconds to do the math problem. 16 times 7, sola times sat. What does that equal? All 
All right. If you said 112, shabash. 112 is sola times sat, 16 times 7. How do we say 112 in Hindi? We say ek so bara. Ek so bara. So this is where it's a little bit easier because we already know that 12 is bara, right? We already did that. Didn't we use bara earlier in our first problem? Bara is 12. And ek so, ek we know is one. So means 100. So we put it all together, 112. Ek so bara. Ek is one, so is 100, and bara is 12. Ek so bara. Now, let's just pretend that we had another math problem and the answer was 212. What would the answer be then? How would you say it in Hindi? Just replace the word ek with the Hindi word for two. So if the answer was 212, we would say do so bara. And if it was 312, teen so bara. 412, char so bara. 512, panch so bara. So see how this is going? So every time if with the hundreds, you just add the number. That makes it a little bit easier, right? Than learning all of our individual words from zero to a hundred. Once we start adding souls, start adding hundreds, it gets a little easier. All right, let's keep going. At times pandara. At times pandara. Translate at into English first and then pandara into English. If you said at is eight, very good. At means eight. And what about pandara? All right, if you said pandara is 15, shabash. So the problem is eight times 15. Eight times 15. Now do the math problem. All right, if you said 120, very good. 120 is eight times 15, at times pandara. Now, before I show you how to say it in Hindi, can you take a guess based on the, the lesson I just gave you about how to say numbers with 100 in them? How do we say 120 in Hindi? If you're having a difficulty, first figure out how do we say 20 in Hindi. Twenty is beast, right? Twenty is beast, and then we just add hundred. We add one hundred, and we know that one is ek. And do you remember the Hindi word for hundred that I taught you a few minutes ago? So, so we have ek so beast, ek so beast, one hundred twenty. Ek is one, so is hundred, and beast is twenty. Ek so bis, 120. All right, next one. Satra times sat. Satra times sat. What is satra in English? All right, if you said satra is 17, shabash. Satra is 17. What is sat? Sat is 7, right? Sat is 7. So we have 17 times 7. Now I want you to take a look at these two words, satra and sat. Don't they kind of sound similar? Like they have a similar root? 
So when you're speaking in Hindi or you're listening to someone who's speaking Hindi, and let's say you know the word sat, because that's from the zero, from one to ten, it's seven. Maybe you know the word sat, but satra was a little more confusing. But if you hear the word satra and you know that people are talking about numbers, you should say to yourself, hmm, well, that kind of sounds like seven. So maybe it's something related to the number seven. And you'd be absolutely right. Satra is 17. All right, so we have 17 satra times seven sat. Now let's do the math problem, please. All right, you said 119, excellent work. 119 is 17 satra times seven, sat. And before I show you how to say it in Hindi, can you figure out how do we say 119 in Hindi? First, figure out how to say 19 in Hindi. Nineteen is unnis, right? Nineteen is unnis. So how do you add one hundred onto unnis in Hindi? Ek so unnis. Ek so unnis is one hundred and nineteen in Hindi. Ek so unnis. All right, balle balle to you. Great work. Danyavad for listening. And if you would like to enroll in Hindi classes, visit our website, virtualpreschool.com. See you later.